guys what's going on it's adrian here at engine actually i'm just pulling up guess what i have with me today this thing is sick 2021 gmc sierra not a chevy because we always see chevys and it's kind of cool to see something different so we got a gmc 2021 5.3 liter our evolution intake let's get this thing on i want to just smash this thing and let's see how it does all right All right guys, so here I got the 2021 GMC Sierra 5.3 liter. I'm gonna be installing this bad boy right now. This is our part number EVO Evo 7104. It's our Evolution uh, sealed intake system. Comes with a dry filter, or you can order it with a, uh, the oiled cotton gauze filter. Um, polyethylene plastic, sealed, um, things pretty sick. Again, the filter, we got um, reinforced silicone couplers, the stainless band clamps. We also have the uh, tube itself, and the tube's pretty sick because we have the uh, calibrated mass sensor uh, ID, so it's correct fuel trims. You don't have to worry about anything and having to tune it or anything. It's just a direct plug and play. Hardware for that, uh, machine fitting. Uh, again, this thing's really sick. We're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy right now. Let's get to it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start by disconnecting the mass sensor. There's this red harness or this little red security clip. Grab that, push it back. You might have to push the sensor, the harness in and actually pull it out. Sometimes that's a little bit easier, a little trick. Um, you're gonna wanna loosen this clamp here, which I don't have the right. Um... So we're gonna go ahead and loosen the clamp on the air box. Uh, the throttle body as well on the back side. Our camera guy will here try to get it as best he can, but either way, um, it's just a um, clamp basically similar to this. Um, just go ahead and loosen that. Then on the back side, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this crankcase line. There's this push in fitting here. Push that in and pull out the crankcase fitting. We're gonna just set this, pull, you can actually rotate a little bit to the side. Now, we're gonna pull the remainder part of the air box out of the vehicle. Disconnect it from the, there we go. Pull that back up. All right guys, so this tab that's on the resonator box with the intake tube away from the throttle body, just go ahead and pop that off. You can it with the screwdriver and lifts up because there's a tab on the back side so here we go we got the resonator intake tube out of the vehicle let's go ahead and loosen the uh, screws holding in the upper half of the uh, air box and i'm going to count and see but i uh one two three so one on the back side front and side We're gonna go ahead with those three screws loosened, just go ahead and remove the um, upper half of the air box out of the vehicle. We'll go ahead and remove the air filter as well out of the car, get that out of the way. Go ahead and the ECU harness, just is kind of attached to a tab on this backside, just lift up and uh, remove remove it from the lower part of the airbox. All right, we'll go ahead and remove these two harnesses that are, there we go. Pull the Christmas tree clip back. And there you got one. And there's another one, that was a gray one. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, black one that's on the other side here. And we'll do that as well. Push that down and just carefully pry it up. And voila, there we go. So we got that out. Harness is out of the way. Just kind of push it back and um, we'll set that to the side. So here's our last 10 millimeter nut holding in this bottom half of this air, or the bottom half of the air box. Yeah, let's go ahead and 
loosen that up, get this bolt, and set it aside because you are going to be using it on the new kit. So again, we're ready to lift up and remove, but our next step will be having to remove this plastic shroud and we'll get to showing you why. All right guys, so there's two uh, screws holding in this, um, uh, the hood latch handle. Uh, I believe it's a T, T15, might even be smaller. There's two of those, right? Let's save those, go ahead and slide this out and um, all right, get that out of the way. All right guys, go ahead and remove these uh, push clips. There you go. Just kind of wiggle back and forth. Wiggle back and forth. Right there. You'll feel it stop. Once it stops, kind of go underneath and there we go. And get that key. There we go. So let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I believe eight, nine. So we got nine of them. So we got all the clips removed. Go ahead and remove the shroud. So it all comes down to this removal of this whole shroud for this push clip here. We're going to remove that, pull it out, right? And this unit here is the front ram scoop that goes into the lower part of the air box. You just wanna get this and pull it back and just kind of pull it back as far as you can. You don't have to remove it. We're just removing it out of the way to remove the actual lower part of the air box. If you don't do this, it, it's very hard to remove that factory low part of, lower part of the air box. So remove this. Uh, rotate in any orientation you want, up and down. It just needs to come back enough for you to remove the lower part of the air box. All right, so there's two um, fittings that are actually on the side of the back side, or excuse me, on the back side of this lower part of the air box that are into two grommets. Uh, lift up the air box out of that fitting, and you are going to pull out and maneuver this part of the, this is a little bit of the fun part. You can lift up and remove. There we go. Push that back and maneuver it out. There we go. Lower part of the air box. There are these two rubber grommets that are on here. Go ahead and pull those out because we are going to be reusing that, reusing them in the kit. Save these, you can put them back. There we go. Ready for the install now. All right, guys, go ahead with the uh, T20 Torx. Remove the two screws holding in the math sensor. Carefully pull the sensor out. We'll set that aside. Just put these on here so I don't lose them. All right, go ahead and get the MAF sensor we just removed. Install it into the new intake tube and then with the provided uh, M4 button head screws, go ahead and put these on and let's secure the sensor. 2.5 millimeter Allen key. And go ahead and secure and tighten this bad boy down. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, grommet and the crush washer. Just go ahead and push this out and pry, save the crush washer and carefully pull out the grommet and remove. We'll save those. Go ahead and now install it to the engine air box, right? Same configuration, crush washer, crush washer goes from the bottom up and it's ready to install. Let's go ahead and install the air box. You're gonna kind of maneuver this as well. Locate. And remember those two grommets that we had earlier, locate them. There we go. 
I got one in. And we got two. There we go. And there it is. So we got the two fittings into the grommets and we got our threaded insert here ready and it's now secure. So we got the air box um, situated. Didn't put the nut on yet, we could do that last. Let's reinstall the factory ram scoop. Um, you might just put your hand through the behind the headlight and just kind of maneuver your way back in and there it kind of sits into place. Right? We got our original plastic push clip. We'll go ahead. It's already seated into the uh, air box. This here, and there we go. We're ready to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and secure the air box. I'll get my hand out of the way. There we go. There's the factory nut. Go ahead and secure and tighten this down all the way till bottoms out and there we go with the provided christmas tree clip that we have in the kit go ahead and locate this hole that's on the air box place that like that right you can have this go up and down in direction you're going to get the harness actually excuse me i'm sorry let's go ahead and place the provided uh, cable tie through here like so okay going to grab the harness you're going to push down kind of get your best position All right takes a little bit of maneuvering but kind of like where that's at now go ahead and get the cable tie find your best position I like putting that on the corner All right we're there I'm not fully tighted yet just or Tight just because of I want to get it right and it looks right about there That's where I want it good and uh, we'll go ahead and cut that off all right guys let's go ahead and install our twist lock filter into the air box there it's gonna be a, a configuration to where it seats like that and you can go in either direction uh, a quarter turn and it will actually lock into place there it is simple as that uh, filters locked and seated and and is secured to the air box. All right, guys, the provided uh, step hose for this application is a, um, a three and three quarter to a three and a half for the 5.3 liters. And then on the um, six liters, uh, you're actually gonna use a, the, in the existing kit, a uh, three and three quarter straight hose for the throttle body. So what we'll do is we'll position this into the filter. I have the clamp on here a little bit too tight, so you can actually pull this back. There we go, let's pull that back. Let's get this filter into position there. You don't have to tighten these clamps. Sometimes it's just easier without having to do that. Place this here. And there we go, we're on one. So I got the hose onto the tube and onto the throttle body, and I got the tube into the filter. So now, let me get all my clamps situated. I don't want to tighten this yet. Let's just leave that like that, and let's kind of snug fit everything and then do a kind of a final adjustment and tighten. There we go. And we got our one on our tube here. And there we go. So we kind of have everything kind of, tube can still rotate up and down, which is fine. Let's not tighten yet. We have this crankcase line that we need to connect to the machine fitting that's on the um, catch can. It's kind of a built-in catch can sound resonator. So rotate that back, right? And we're gonna go ahead and install to the provided. You're gonna hear a click. 
and it's on. Nice and secured and tight. Let's get the math sensor harness connected. You'll hear that click and secure with the push uh, security clip in. And there, that's done. I'm feeling pretty good now to where I say let's tighten everything. Again, rotate to your configuration and I'm filling this here, so let's tighten everything. Oh, there it is. Nice and tight. Throttle body, secure. Clamp over here, secure. Guys, there it is. Tube, air box, everything nicely fitted. Final step is to reattach the shroud that we removed and we're done. And then the handle. Cool. All right, guys, so there you have it. We just finished the installation. The Evo 7104, it's available for the 19, 20, 21 Silverado Sierra. This kit's it. It's available now. Check it at engine.com. Till then, we will see you guys later.